Hey. What is it? Excuse me. I'd really like to talk to you. You ready now? Is something wrong? I don't know. You tell me. After Tommy stuck me with you, I was expecting to hate your guts. Not only because you've agreed to pick up me contract, but because I was waiting for you to order me around like hired help. Now, so far, you've been treating me like a friend. Hell, you've been damn near nice to me. Now, I don't mean to sound ungrateful, but your kindness is starting to make me wonder. If there's anything I learned in the combat zone, it was that nobody does things for other people without expecting something in return. What exactly do you think I'm expecting in return? Who knows? Doing your laundry, taking a bullet for you, hauling your gear. What's the difference? I don't think I'm getting through to you. Let me explain what I mean, then maybe you'll understand where I'm coming from. I spent three years living at the combat zone. Smelled like puke and piss. But I called it home. I was making a few caps. Had me own bed to sleep in and three hot meals a day. Then the raiders took over the place. You know that lot. They aren't exactly what you'd call the gentle type. After they moved in, if you didn't keep looking over your shoulder, you were liable to get sucker punched or robbed. Or worse. Didn't take me long to learn that I had to put my hard-earned caps to good use. Buying friends was essential to making life easy. So... I guess I'm waiting for you to hand me a bill. You know what I mean? You don't owe me a thing. Now I'm having a real hard time believing that. I'll tell you what. Give me some time and I'll think of something I can do to repay you. I'm not a rich girl, but I'm sure we can agree on something. After all, what are friends for? Okay. What the hell is a building that noise doing in a rundown no city like this? I'd really like to come in. You seem nice enough, but trust me, you don't want to come inside. Okay, fine. I'm leaving. I'd really like to come in. You seem nice enough, but trust me, you don't want to come, come on, inside. Let me in. You're not gonna give up, are you? Have it your way. Doors unlocked. Come on in. All very, very still. Now tell me what you're doing here. Why did you let me in if you were just gonna kill me? You kind of insisted, remember? I also wanted to get a look at you. I don't like to kill people. If I don't have to. Edward? Who is it? Don't worry about it, Jack. I got it under control. Edward, don't be so hasty. I like the look of this fellow. Please, <sighs> accept my apologies for Edward's behavior. He's just looking out for me, but sometimes he can be overzealous. I'm Jack Cabot. Welcome to Cabot House. Pleased to meet you, Jack. Pleased to meet you. Seems like a long time since we've had a visitor. Edward, I think this occasion calls for drinks. The good bourbon, eh? Come on, this way. There's no need to stand talking in the front hall like savages. Please, have a seat. There might be some valuable stuff inside. Let's go check it out. Now, before we get down to business, I have a question I like to ask all my new employees. Is this really the time Don't for... interrupt, Edward. The question is this. Do you believe there is other intelligent life in the universe? Are you talking about aliens? UFOs and little green men? No, no. That's all popular hysteria. I doubt any of it has any basis in fact. I'm talking about the hidden history of our planet. The very origins of human civilization. Ancient powers that modern science, even at its pinnacle, could barely begin to comprehend. That's really interesting. You're falling for this bullshit. I'm glad to hear you say that. It's become my life's work. My approach is to combine a rigorous scientific method while keeping an absolutely open mind. So much has been closed off to us simply because people assumed they already knew the answers. My father excavated a city in the Rub al-Khali in Arabia, which he dated 
to more than 4,000 years before the rise of any known human civilization. The structures and artifacts were strange, disturbing even, clearly not constructed for or by humans. I've spent my life trying to decipher what he uncovered. Jack, can I tell him what I need him to do? I'm sorry, Edward. I just get carried away sometimes. You're sending him to look for the missing shipment? Yeah. Well then, I'd better leave you to it. We'll talk more about this some other time, when things are less rushed. It isn't important now. Welcome to the family. Okay. You're officially hired. Congratulations. That was interesting. Huh. Good. If you like that kind of thing, you've come to the right place. That's part of the job, by the way. It's best to keep an open mind. Jack may be eccentric, but he's definitely not crazy. The job I got for you is simple. Jack owns a facility north of the city. There's an important package that went missing between there and here. I need you to track it down and bring it back to me. Any questions? For starters, what's this package I'm looking for? It's a metal case holding vials of serum. You don't need to worry about what it is. Jack needs it for his research. That's all you need to know. You should start at Parsons State Insane Asylum. Don't let the name spook you. It's just a secure building that we're using. We think the courier got ambushed as he was leaving the place. The guards heard gunfire in the distance, but we don't know exactly what happened. Check in with Maria at Parsons. She's in charge of the security force there. She can point you in the right direction. You all set then? I have some questions. Shoot. What's this missing package I'm looking for? It's a metal case holding vials of serum. You don't need to worry about what it is. Jack needs it for his research. That's all you need to know. Anything else? How did this package go missing? The courier got there and picked up the package just fine. But never got back here. Could be simple bad luck. Or it could be a deliberate ambush. That's why I'm sending you. It's important that you recover the missing package. You all set then? Why does Jack have people guarding an old insane asylum? I don't mind you asking questions. As long as you don't mind me not answering them. If it was important to what I was asking you to do, I tell you, in this case, it isn't. Are we good here? Nothing else. Okay. They're expecting you over at Parsons, so you'd better get going. to be something of value on them. This church is falling apart at the seams.
This better lead somewhere. I don't fancy spending the rest of me week wandering in circles. Something isn't right. We should get out of here. Spins. Start with R. Stop right there. You went through a lot of effort to arrange this meeting. But before we go any further, answer my questions. Who the hell are you? Why don't you tell me who you are first? In a world full of suspicion, treachery, and hunters, we're the synths' only friends. We're the railroad. So answer my question. I followed the Freedom Trail looking for the railroad. I'm not your enemy. If that's true, you have nothing to fear. It's clear you're not with the Institute. But who told you how to contact us? Um, who's the Institute? What? You're serious. Where to begin? Dig deep enough into any tragedy in the Commonwealth, and nine times out of ten, the Institute's involved. Kidnappings, unexplained virus outbreaks, wiped out settlements, They've done that, and worse, but always from the shadows. The only real evidence most people have that they even exist are their crowning achievement, the synths. Synthetic machines designed to look, feel, and sound human. And against that, we're the only people stupid enough to fight them. So now you answer my question. How'd you find out how to contact us? I just heard a rumor about you guys in Diamond City. I see. I'm Desdemona, and I'm the leader of the railroad. And you are? Deacon, where have you been? You're having a party. What gives with my invitation? I need intel. Who is this? Wow. Newsflash, boss. This guy is kind of a big deal out there. Do we know each other? I didn't need to meet you to hear about you. You have made waves. You've left a trail of destruction in your wake. Gone places no sane person would go alone. So you're vouching for him? Yes, trust me. He's someone we want on our side. That changes things. So, stranger, why did you want to meet with us anyway? You help synths. I want to lend a hand. There's a procedure for people who want to help the railroad. And showing up unannounced isn't it. What procedure is that? One of our agents was supposed to contact you. And if you helped us out a few times, maybe you'd get an invitation to join. And then, if you're lucky, maybe one year you'd be made a full agent. 
If we're going to be dealing with you, I need to make sure we're on the same page. You know what a synth is, right? Yeah, I know all about them. Good. The Institute treats synths as property, as tools. Why does the Institute treat them that way? They're playing God, tinkering with things they don't fully understand. From that lofty vantage, it's easy to deny their creation's very humanity. That sounds like slavery. Exactly. So we seek to free the synths from their bondage. Give them a chance at a real life. I have a question. The only question that matters. Would you risk your life for your fellow man? Even if that man is a synth? It depends on the circumstances. There's no middle ground with this. Would you risk death to save a synth or not? Could you elaborate? Answer with your gut on this. Your heart. If you had to put yourself in danger to save a synth, would you do it? Once, I pledged my life to protect my countrymen. I don't see this as any different. Well said. You said you wanted to save synths. But right now, we don't have the time to train up a new agent. There are, however, other valuable ways you can contribute. And in turn, we can help you. See Deacon for details. You're free to go. Uh, <clears throat> Hope you didn't mind the reception. When you tango with the Institute, you gotta be careful when someone new gets on the dance floor. Do you really have to be so cagey? Sugarcoating it a bit, aren't you, love? The precautions are necessary. In our business, if we underestimate our enemy's capabilities, it's game over. But it's all good now. I vouched for you, nobody got shot. Still, I would consider it a close personal favor if you didn't sell us out to the Institute. Thanks. So tell me, why did you vouch for me? In our little outfit, it's my job to know things. And with everything you've done, it's clear you're capable. A dangerous enemy. And I'm betting a valuable ally. But why the trust? You can't be taking it all on faith. I don't know if we can trust you, but I hope we can. We just survived a hell of a crisis, so we may just be a teeny weeny bit desperate for new members. If everything was sunshine and bottle caps, we'd probably play a longer getting to know you game. But we don't have that luxury. Really? Is that all? You just don't give up. All right, I have a short list of people I think would be a good fit for our family. You piqued my interest, so maybe I asked around, did my homework. If you hadn't found us, there's a chance I would have found you instead. Thanks for saving me the trip. So Des wants me to make you a tourist. That's what we call someone who helps out with the odd job here and there. What a waste. I'm just gonna come out and say this. The railroad needs you. You sure you need me? Desdemona didn't seem to care. She's just thinking of the time and manpower it would take to train you. And if you were some hick from the burbs that didn't know your ass from a rocket launcher, she'd be right. But I'm betting someone like you just needs a few pointers. And a target. You got my attention. I got a job. Too big for me? Just perfect for the two of us. You help me out, we turn a few heads, and then Dez invites you into the fold. Then, if you get into a bind and need some help, your buddies in the railroad got your back. What's the job? So, up front, the only thing I'll say is that it's gonna be a wild and dangerous ride, but probably nothing new for someone like you. Sign me up, then. Perfecto! Let's meet up at the old freeway outside of Lexington. I'll fill you in once you get there.
Don't leave anything behind that might be useful. Point out what you need and I'll get right on it. Psst. Need something? I'll get it done. Hey, hmm? hold. Leaving me behind. It's your funeral. Still kicking? Jesus!
Hey, sure, come on. Sure. I don't ask for much. Just need a full bottle and some bones to hey. break. Stay there. Sure. I'll stay here while you have all the fun. <laughs> you look like you could use a little pick-me-up. Am I right? Who are you? I'm Stash, your friendly traveling chems dealer. I don't mind the crew, they're just overprotective. Stash? How'd you get that name? Ah, parents on chems, but hey, it suits me. So, what'll it be? Take a look. Let's see what you got. Exactly what you need. Hey, moving out. I'm on it, Captain. No funny business. Did a ship get all the way up there? Scanning. Scanning. Accessing pre-war records. Record found. 108th Infantry Regiment, 2nd Battalion. Ahoy there. Tis Providence, a member of the Congressional Army, is delivered to us in our hour of need. What? Why are you talking like that? Uh, like what, sir? The captain requests... 
request your presence on the bridge. At the double quick, sir. for maintenance, defending the Constitution. Defending the Constitution. Unidentified. Intruder. Intruder. Mr. First Mate, this is the Captain. This soldier is no intruder. Request. Mm -hmm. Whoa, whoa, easy there. Why are you trying to reason with these oversized garbage cans? Unable to comply. Stand down! That's an order. And for God's sake, use the accent. I, Captain, standing down. It is an honor to crew such a story vessel. From the top deck, one can spot other robots from the Commonwealth floating. Listless, without purpose, but not us. Huzzah for the captain and the Constitution! Hey. This better be worth it. Go check that out. Yep, I've got it. Intruders. Error. 
Ah, so close. Guess I'm getting rusty. Tis an honor to crew such a story. Damn. That's all. This lock's pissing me off. Got it. Hey. Sure. Sure, sure. Just keep your shirt on. There we go. Reading that now. Really. Her mission to destroy intruder. What the hell did a ship get all the way up there? Nice spot for a last stand. Patrolling. Defending the Constitution. Captain Ironsides. I'll have none of your lip, Mr. Navigator. Have the crow's nest scan two points off the port bow. Jump to it. Aye, Captain. Our soldier has arrived. I trust the first mate didn't give you too hard a time. Been too long since we've seen the Congressional Army. First mate, Congressional Army? Wh why are you talking like that? This is the pride of our Navy, the USS Constitution. As her commander, it is my privilege to enforce a certain measure of decorum amongst my crew. You didn't explain why you're talking like that. Look around you. In these times of great unrest, is it not prudent to adopt the manner of a more civilized time? If that answer is not to your satisfaction, I'm afraid you must make your peace with it. Are you crazy? Do you even know what year it is? Do not mistake my genteel manner for derangement, sir. I am fully aware that it is the year of our Lord, 2287. Why are you even here, on this ship? It's ancient. This vessel has more than once been the seat of our great nation's naval power. Is it not fitting she don this mantle again? And you're in charge here? What? As ordained by the chain of command, the links of which start with our most august admirals and plummet to the lowliest of sentry bots. After all our brothers in arms perished, I reluctantly assumed command. Your lookout told me to come up here. Why? I confess, we need your assistance. You visit this fine vessel in trying times. Be calm these long years on her airy perch. Damn you, Weatherby Savings alone! I spit at you. That's quite a predicament. Well, at 
least you've given us something to laugh at for a while. What vexes me most is my inability to assist in the war effort. My gun decks have not but more rats and ne'er-do-wells as targets. Enough pleasantries. The Constitution has systems that need repairs to carry out its mission. What war effort? Against communist China, of course. But if any redcoats or Canadians sail nearby, I will give them a good thrashing, to be sure. To avenge the burning of our nation's capital would be a sweet victory indeed. Consult with the bosun and Mr. Navigator. They will relay your instructions. Dismissed. Look lively, lads. Scavengers approach. Soldier, man the cannons. Kill them only as a last resort. A few warning shots yeah. usually suffice to scare that rabble off. The cannons are ready. Fire at will. Man the turrets. Show them what we're made of. Who goes there? Scavenger threat detected. Conversation terminated. My last breath. With heavy circuit boards, I proclaim this victory. Keep firing, soldier! Unless I am mistaken, I am no longer alone. over there. this humble unit a great honor my programming would find it amiss if i did not also interject long live the captain do you often just interject as you put it indeed i do i exclaim from exuberance and not because i've been reprogrammed five times to wholeheartedly embrace these marvelous turns of phrase and anachronisms my metal heart burns with a fierce love and affection for our captain. Huzzah! Why were you reprogrammed? Was the captain involved? I will confide this only as a cautionary tale. The captain requires all crew to speak in the proper idiom. We are the inheritors of a sacred tradition. There was a time I thought he was, well, balmy. With my new programming, I see his incalculable wisdom. Our last marine expedition valiantly returned with much needed supplies, including replacement power cables, sir. Alas, with my severe lack of appendages, I find myself unequal to the task of repairing the cables myself. I'll get right on it. My anxiety emulators are lightning by the microsecond. Once you have resolved this matter, I beseech you. To return to me to accept my undying gratitude. All is well.
Night rolling. rolling. Ow. Hey, Bosun. How? Of course, it's through the Constitution's mind. Again! Her systems, long starved, flick out her life! <laughs> A hearty congratulation. Huzzah! However, this has brought to light further failures in our power grid. The power relay, to my shame, I previously complained about is fluctuating wildly. Can't you fix anything yourself? Your criticism squarely hits the mark, sir. I fear the butcher's bill is many a fine, Mr. Handy, on its list. I entreat you to aid us once more. Power relay coils are a common enough part. Might I recommend checking the local shopkeeps? Surely, they would be of some assistance. Fair winds and following seas. Hey. What you need? Defending the Constitution. Hey, Bosun. Power flows far and steady. I would applaud you. But alas, I cannot, due to my lack of clapping instruments. But huzzah, sir. Huzzah! So no more problems with the power? Area one. It flows like a veritable torrent through our cables. If I may say so, the surgeon would be proud. I require no further assistance. But our Mr. Navigator is also beset by troubles. Scuttle buddies, our guidance system is on our last legs. If you've not already, speak to him. Fare thee well. Warning. Overdue for maintenance. In How in the hell did a ship get all the way up there? Maybe we should rest here. The place is built like a fortress. Soldier, scavenger threat eliminated. Damage assessment will commence after this unit has completed scheduled duties. Why did the scavengers attack? Scavengers have attacked ship 17 times. Destroyed 13% of ship's systems. Stole 5% of ship's store. Logic error. Captain's orders authorize scavenger termination only if necessary to preserve the ship. If they've attacked you 17 times, why don't you fight back? This unit suggests Captain's core processes in need of extensive maintenance. 
Guidance system offline. Multiple errors diagnosed. First error. Guidance chip stolen. This unit requires its return. Who stole your guidance chip? Guidance chip is one entry on the list of stolen items. Reclaim chip at Scavenger's forward recon station. Captain has approved a bounty for its return. Lethal force is prohibited unless absolutely necessary. Aft dinghy unlocked and available for your use, sir. Sure, Over here. Sure. Just keep your shirt on. Hi. Can I help? Your thoughts? You point, I shoot. I like this arrangement. Did a ship get all the way up there? They built this place up to protect something. Warning. Overdue for maintenance. Hi. We could really use your help. Is there some kind of problem? We're having a lot of trouble with a group of raiders. Uh, stealing our food, our supplies. Do you think you can... persuade them to leave us alone? Any idea how many raiders we're talking about? No telling, I'm afraid. This time there were three. Who knows how many are back at their base? Don't worry. I'll take care of those raiders for you. Oh, good. It'll be a relief not to have to worry about them.
shot him. I'm gonna be jumping at the goddamn shadows next. This is gonna be a <laughs> Mine. Right, darling. Sarah Aslan, Brotherhood of Steel, Recon Team 429 Alpha, serial number 3431. It's been three hours since I set my distress pulser. There's been no word from the Paladin or Ferris. <laughs> Their objective was a satellite array on the coast. They may be out of range. My orders were to hold this position at all costs. The entire site has been overrun. The door won't last much longer. Paladin Brandis, sir. It's been an honor, sir.
Father, that's just garbage. I toss it. There we go. Hold. Leaving me behind. It's your funeral.
somewhere. That sound, what is it? Someone there? My arm!
stupid noises. What's that? Uh, who's there? 